I think it's time for another system test with the ADT Unimode 10UD Fire Alarm Control Panel. This is my brown fire alarm demonstration board. And today I'm going to show you the different fire alarms I have up on it today. This right here, as you can see, I have two Gentex Commander 4s. This one right here is a strobe only, set on 15 candela. And then on the far right we have a horn strobe that's also set on a 15 candela strobe. And the horn on the alarm is actually 2400 hertz. And it's being coded to Gentech Sync with two wire operation. And what that basically means is it's going to have a pretty interesting code today. One that's not normal with this fire alarm control panel. So you'll definitely get to hear that. It'll be pretty cool. Down here we have two BG8s. This one right here is by Firelight. And this one by, right here is by Notifier. And as you can see, one is red and one is silver. I think that's kind of an interesting setup I have here and then also one of them has the fire letter or the fire symbol above the I and the other has the fire symbol above the letter F which is you know one of them's older and one of them's newer this one's the newer version but regardless they're both pretty much the same just different color and different brand but uh, yeah we're gonna pull both those today I'm thinking we'll test these three devices and you'll get to see these cool alarms go off the alarms in this test aren't terribly loud at all, so thankfully you won't have to worry about turning down the volume too much. And without further ado, I think we're going to start off with my fire drill key switch, which sounds like exactly what it is. And we're going to go ahead and test it. So, put the key in, it's right now in normal, and we're going to go ahead and turn the key to test. And that'll set everything off, and when the fire drill is over, I'll turn it back to normal, and that'll stop everything. If you see these key switches in a building, they're not normally used as a fire drill feature. They're normally used to actually test duct detectors, which is one right there. But on this demonstration board, I have it wired using the fire drill feature. All right, which one of these pull stations should we pull next? I'm thinking we'll do the silver one. All right. And you just pull it down and the whole thing comes down. It's actually really cool. In three, two, one. And as you can see, I do have them wired to two-wire audible silence. I guess it's a programming thing. But uh, yeah, since they're both Gentex, I'm able to set them to sync mute, which is a feature on the fire alarm control panel, which allows the strobes to continue flashing even when I silence the alarms. Same thing, but in red. In three, two, one. And the alarms are now silenced. Let's go ahead and reset the pull stations, shall we? This one is the notifier pull station, so it actually takes a notifier key. And notifier and firelight are both owned by Honeywell, so you would think that, you know, the firelight key works on notifier products and the notifier key works on firelight products, but they actually don't work with each other. You have to have 
either a fire light key or another fire key. So there they are. As you can see, one has an N on it, stands for notifier. The other key has an I on it, which is kind of the trademark for a firelight. Alright, I guess that's an I. I really don't know what that is. <laughs> Alright, and we'll go ahead and reset the main fire alarm control panel, which will stop the strobes and hopefully clear all the alarms and troubles, which it looks like it's now cleared. And I guess that's going to be the system test for today. Thank you for watching everyone. Definitely rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out some of the other videos I have, and have a great day.